Suppose that you are thinking about buying a car and have narrowed down your choices to two options. The new car option. The new car costs $68,000 and can be financed with a four-year loan at 7.14%. The used car option, a three-year-old model of the same car, costs $28,000 and can be financed with a four-year loan at 7.92%. What is the difference in the monthly payments between financing the new car and financing the used car? To solve this problem, we will compute for the monthly payment for the first option, the new car option, and then compute for the monthly payment for the used car option and then get the difference in the monthly payments. To do this, we will use the following formula for the monthly payment. PMT is equal to P, this is the principal amount borrowed, times R over N, R is the rate, N is the number of paying periods, and then the denominator will be one minus parenthesis, one plus R over N, raised to negative n times t. t is the number of years. So for the new car option, the monthly payment will be PMT is equal to 68,000, that's equal to P, times the rate here will be 7.14%. Now in decimal form, this is just equal to 0 0.0714 divided by 12. N is equal to 12 because we're computing for the monthly payments. And then divided by 1 minus 1 plus R over N. So that is 0 0.0714 over 12 raised to negative 12 times number of years so t is equal to 4. Now let's compute for the monthly payment by plugging it into this calculator. So we have 68,000 that's the principal amount borrowed times r over n r is 0 0.0714 divided by 12. Then the denominator is 1 minus parenthesis 1 plus r over n divided by, so that's 12, n is 12, r is 0 0.714. Close it and then raise it to negative and then just enclose the exponent in a parenthesis so 12 times the number of years which is 4 and then close it. The answer is approximately equal to $1,633. Round this off to the nearest dollar. From our computation the monthly payment for the new car option is approximately equal to $1,633. Now let's compute for the second option, the used car option. So for the used car option, we will use this same formula here to compute for the monthly payment. Now in this case, P is equal to 28000 so 28,000 times the rate is 7.92%. In decimal form, 7.92% is equal to 0 0.0792. Divided by 12, we have the same N. N is equal to 12 because we're computing for the monthly payments. So divided by... 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.0792, that's the rate R over 12. And then raise this to negative 12, and the T 
is the same. This is a four-year loan, so T is equal to four. And then let's input this to our calculator to compute for the monthly payment. Now plugging the information to this calculator, we have 28,000 times 0 0.0792 divided by 12. Uh, and then the new denominator will be 1 minus, and then parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.0792 divided by 12, is this, and then raise this to negative n times t. So therefore, the monthly payment is approximately equal to $683. To compute for the difference in the monthly payments between financing the new car and financing the used car, subtract this two. We're going to subtract 1,633 and 683. So 1,633 minus 683 is equal to 950. Suppose that you are buying a car for $56,000, including taxes and license fees. You saved $8,000 for a down payment. The dealer is offering you two incentives. Incentive A is $10,000 off the price of the car, followed by a four-year loan at 12.5%. Incentive B does not have a cash rebate, but provides free financing, no interest over four years. What is the difference in monthly payments between the two offers? Which incentive is the better deal? So to answer this problem, we will compare the monthly payments between the two options. We will compute for the monthly payment if we take incentive A, which is 10000 off the price of the car, followed by a four-year loan at 12.5. We will use the formula for the monthly payment, PMT, is equal to P, this is the principal amount borrowed times R over N divided by 1 minus 1 plus R over N raised to negative NT. We have 56000 that's the cost of the car. We get an incentive of 10000 so 10000 off the price of the car, so minus ten thousand dollars and then minus the down payment so down payment of eight thousand subtracting this fifty six thousand minus ten thousand that's forty six thousand minus eight thousand that is equal to thirty eight thousand dollars so this is the amount financed for incentive a to compute for the monthly payment bmt this will be our P, so that is 38,000 times R. So the rate in this case is 12.5%. So 12.5% in decimal is equal to 0.125. So we have 0.125 as our R over 12 and is equal to 12 if it's a monthly payment and then divided by 1 minus 1 plus rate is 0.125 all over 12 raised to negative n is 12 times the number of years so this is for a four-year loan so t is equal to 4 then we plug this in to the calculator to compute for the monthly payment. Now let's go ahead and plug in the information that we have to compute for the monthly payment. So P is 38,000, that's the amount financed, times R, the rate is 0.125, that's 12.5%, divided by 12, divided by 
1 minus parenthesis 1 plus 0.25 and is equal to 12 erase this to negative 12 and is 12 times t in this case is 4 it's 4 years for the monthly payment for incentive a is approximately equal to 1010 if you round this off to the nearest dollar so from our computation the monthly payment using incentive a is 1000 ten dollars next is to get the monthly payment for incentive b for incentive b you have no cash rebate but it provides free financing meaning no interest for over four years the amount financed for incentive b is equal to fifty six thousand dollars this is the cost of the car minus down payment. The down payment is 8,000. So 56,000 minus 8,000 is equal to 48,000. Now to compute for the monthly payment in this case, all you need to do is divide 48,000 dollars this is the amount financed for incentive b and since the rate is zero it has no interest for four years so you'll just have to divide this by the number of paying periods since you are paying monthly so you just have to multiply four that's the number of years times 12. so forty-eight thousand divided by four times 12 is 48 so you have forty-eight thousand divided by 48 is equal to 1,000. Using incentive B, the monthly payment is just equal to 1,000. So the difference in monthly payments is just 1,010 minus $1,000, and that is equal to $10. So therefore, incentive B is a better deal because it has a lower monthly payments.